Today is Sunday and it is time for some hotel beanery. My personal procedure kind of breaks down into three distinct parts. The first part, quite obviously, is the beans, right? So use your bean of choice. I use black oftentimes for aesthetic purposes. I like the way it looks. A piece of smoked meat is really the most important thing, if you ask me. So you can use a smoked turkey wing, smoked turkey leg is really good, or a ham hock is also really good. The third and final part is uh, aromatic veg. So you've got your alliums, and I'm going to go with this massive yellow onion, some garlic, I will not use the whole head. I'm going with a large Anaheim and a large Poblano. Neither of these have very much heat at all, and that's why I'm adding this guy, which is a habanero. We need to give this guy a head start. So he's going to basically get pressure cooked twice, once by himself and then a second time with the beans. And there we go. Drop in the insert. Put on the top, make sure the valve is sealed. 25 minutes. And uh, it's been four minutes since it stopped and we'll do a natural pressure release. That ham hock is tougher than nails, needs time to break down, so we'll pop it open in a little bit. So let's poke around at our hock here and see is that even like tender at all. <laughs> Not really, well, I don't know, maybe. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Are you keeping up with this recipe? It's pretty complex. bean and a ham hock would not be a very tasty dinner so you want to have some freshness in there now you could just do all this in the in the pressure cooker but of course then things will get obliterated so I'm just going to cook them in a pan on the stove and then it can be added at the end just a specimen of a poblano I mean perfect skin and that's perfectly symmetrical I knew I wanted a poblano, uh, and these are right next to it. And again, talk about a perfect specimen. It's just absolutely beautiful. Says, uh, white, core, or pit. Bring your own salt and pepper, people. You do not want to be fooling around with uh, bullshit little packets. This is my kosher salt from home. I've been using this little container for years and years, long before I ever cooked in a hotel. Also had this for 20 years, small and portable. All right, that's coming along nicely. We can go ahead and add uh, the garlic now. Didn't want to add it at the beginning because it will burn. You can see how much steam is coming out. It's like, I, I want the taste of peppers. I don't need the taste of peppers diluted with water so we're gonna take the water out and it's starting to feel kind of like mushy and sticky so i think this is i'm happy with this
is looking real nice creamy creamy Woo! that's hot yeah we're good so there's too much liquid in here for me I want some and the best way is to get rid of all of it then add back what you like don't have the best draining rig set up here so that's what's left of that ham hock awesome i'm just searching for any like humongous chunks of ham because i want to pull those out and chop them up if needed a lot of it's already kind of fallen into small shreds so here's the bulk of the hock there's a, quite a few big shreds just roughly chop rest of the ham into the pool and then we've got all of our sauteed veg get the consistency that you want so let's get those the veg incorporated take a look at the liquid level yeah I'm gonna use a little bit more and yeah that's perfect keep in mind that stock has no salt or pepper so Give that a good shake of salt. So, as you can see, that's a success. is crazy control the thing you can control the clothes you wear your routine food you eat sometimes simple is best <laughs> 